Hello everyone and welcome to another short video on our own devices. I'm Jean Messier and today we're having a look at yet another mechanical flight computer. This one generously donated by viewer Jay Steinbrook. So thank you very much, Jay. This is a VSH-1 Vetroshut or wind corrector designed by Soviet inventor B.V. Sterlogov in 1927. And that's about all I know. There's precious little information available on this device, its development, or its inventor. However, if any of you out there know any more about it, please let me know and I will add that extra information to this video's description or make an updated version of this video. Now, this particular example appears to have been made sometime in the 1950s, likely at one of the industrial plants at Voronezh. And unlike the other flight computers that we've looked at on this channel, which have many integrated functions, this only performs wind triangle calculations and nothing else. At the bottom here, we have a disk marked in increments of 10 degrees. It is also marked with the four cardinal directions in red Cyrillic letters. Sever, or north, Vostok, or east, Yug, or south, and Zapad, or west. We'll also notice the series of concentric circles, which represent wind speeds of 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 kilometers per hour, moving outwards. In addition to rotating, this disk also slides along this slot, and can be released or locked into place by turning the screw at the back. Air and ground speed are indicated on this swinging arm in tens of kilometers per hour. Older versions of the VSH-1 only had a single scale, while this example has two, going up to 2,080 kilometers per hour, a modification likely made to adapt the instrument to the higher air speeds encountered with jet aircraft. This arm swings across a drift angle scale that extends from 25 degrees Snozjevo, or drift left, to 25 degrees Snozjevo, or drift and incidentally, the disc and wind direction scale are made of phosphorescent plastic that glows in the dark, very handy when flying at night. On the back, we have two white plastic tablets for taking note for the pencil, though in this example one of these is missing. Little plastic block bearing the arrow for aligning the disc is also missing. Anyway, let's say our true airspeed is 100 km per hour, our true heading is 225 degrees, and the wind is 30 km per hour coming from 90 degrees. To determine our drift angle and ground speed, we first rotate the disc to our wind direction, 90 degrees, and slide it up the slot so the center lines up with our airspeed, 100 km per hour, on the arm. We then use a pencil to mark a wind dot on the 30 km per hour wind speed circle directly below the center of the disc. Then rotate the disc to our true heading, 225 degrees. Finally, we swing the arm over so its edge just touches the wind dot. We can now read our drift angle on the top scale, 9 degrees right, and our ground speed where the wind dot touches the arm, 116 kilometers per hour. Conversely, to calculate our wind correction angle, that is the degree to which we must turn into the wind to maintain our desired course, we repeat this procedure but instead place the wind dot above the center of the disc. This gives us a correction angle of 12 degrees left and a new ground speed of 86 kilometers per hour. Now, in 1941, P.A. Mulkanov was granted Soviet patent 57,524 for an improved version of the VSH-1, which included a crank and linkage to move all the components together automatically. But this does not appear to ever have been put into production, and the basic VSH-1 with minor improvements was used by Soviet pilots well into the 1970s. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks again to Jay for sending me this lovely piece. It'll make a fine addition to my ever growing collection. And thank you to all of you for watching. I'll see you next time in another video where we'll look at yet more navigation instruments and other devices just like this one. Until then, I'm Jin Messi from Our Own Devices. Have a great day.